Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about how I decide on my self-publishing schedule. There's a lot that goes into deciding the month that you want to schedule and how to make sure that you hit all the things that you need to hit before that date. So that is what I am going to be sharing with you guys today is my process and where my mind is. And I hope that it helps you figure out your own schedule and how to set your own deadlines. If you are new here, hello, my name is Mari Suggs. I am a writer and self-published author. And on this channel, I talk about writing and self-publishing tips and how to navigate it all with a positive mindset. If that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe before you leave. If you find this video helpful in any way, make sure you also give it a thumbs up because as you know, it helps me so much on YouTube and the algorithm, you know. Anyways, let's jump right into today's video. So I am a self-published author, as I mentioned, therefore deciding how many books I want to write and when I want to self-publish basically depends on me. I like to publish about one to two books a year. I have five systems in place to help me do that. I just shared my process in last week's video. If you have not checked it out, I will link it below for you guys to go see it because it does help me a lot in setting these systems in place, having these systems in place to make sure that I reach my publishing goals. So I might take you over to my computer. I haven't decided how I'm going to edit this video as I go. But in the meantime, just know that I am looking down at my book companion journal because this is where I keep all my notes for the book that I'm currently writing. So we're going to work backwards. Okay. Just to be clear, I first decide when I want to publish a novel. I just published one in March. So my second book that I will be publishing this year, I've already decided back in November that I was going to publish it next November. So in 2021, I decided that I was going to publish this Christmas novel November 1st. So knowing that I want to publish November 1st, there's a lot of things that have to happen before then. And that's what we're going to talk about and we're going to work our way backwards and I hope it's helpful and not confusing. If it is, if you find it confusing in any way, just leave me a comment below and I'll clarify. But I might show you on the computer, but in the meantime, I'm going to be looking down on my notes so that I can properly guide you along the way. So if I've decided that my publication date is November 1st, 2022, then I need to know when do I need to have it ready for my print on demand company. And I'm going to be speaking specifically right now about KDP because that's the last memory I have of a book that I just published because I just did it in March. So I know that once I publish my, or set the date for a publication, they give me about five dates to update the final draft. So I am going to say, that if I'm going to publish by 11 one I need to have everything into KDP by 10 28. So that's roughly five days. So everything at the latest has to be done by 10 28. Then we are going to be talking about arcs. If I want to send arcs out, I want to probably send it out a month before the book comes out. So that means that the book really needs to be finalized by 10 1. So that's already a month before. Next, we're going to talk about the cover. By when do I need to have the cover a concept and everything into my cover designer? Now, make sure that you have your blurb in the back completely filled out. If you buy your own ISBN numbers, make sure you have that because they're going to have to put it on the um, on the bar in the back. So there are certain things that need to be done. So not only do you need to have your cover concept, you need to have the back blurb um, ready to go. So by when should I have my designs or my concept ideas into my cover designer? By when should I hire them? Sooner than later, but at the latest, August 1st. So that's August, September, October, November, three months before I publish my book, I need to have in my cover uh, designer hired and all my documents in for them to work on my cover. The next thing I need to consider, remember we're working backwards. The next thing I need to consider is my editor. By when the latest should I have my manuscript in to my editor to give me enough time for me to work on the blurb 
that I need to give to my cover designer to make sure that I have enough time to edit the book and send for revisions. And maybe also just I have to reread the book a few times. I have to order proofs. So by when should I have it in for a first edit round? No later than July. So at this point, we're talking about four months before I publish the book. I need to have it in to the editor. Next, we are talking about by when do I need to have my final draft ready? That is June 30th if I'm going to deliver it to my editor July 1st. Then what does that mean? That means that I need to have at least my first draft completely done by May 31st. So here's what's happening. I am working on a seven month six month deadline here because although I did start the book back in November of 2021 and I've written a little over 11,000 words, I halted the writing completely. So I essentially, I could have been done with my writing the first draft by December or even January and then do a bunch of rounds of edits and just before, you know, have more time to send it to the editor but because of my move and just things have been really hectic, my deadline has really shrunk. So I have the option to say, it's just too soon. I can't do it. I'm going to publish next year. If it wasn't a Christmas story, I might even push it to the beginning of the year. Um, you know, I might be have some wiggle room on the date, but because it is a Christmas novel, I am either going to publish it this November or I have to wait till next November and I don't want to do that. So that is why I am rushing to get this done. So it is best to give yourself a full year of writing and editing. That way your deadlines aren't so close to each other like mine are, but for sure, Consider the, the, the pacing that I'm doing everything in. I'm giving myself almost about a month between each thing before I can publish. So that's not really ideal, but as you can see, I started by working my way backwards. So decide when you're going to publish and then by when you need to have your final copy in, then that means you need to decide when do you need to have it to your cover designer, when you need to have it to your editor, when do you have to have the final draft done, and when do you need to have your first draft done. Those are really the bullet points that you need to start looking at. So with that said, also remember to go back and look at my video from last week because I also talk about budgets. It's not enough to say that you want to publish a book or a particular novel by a certain date. It's very important that you also decide, do you have the money to publish the book that you want to publish and the, to pay for the editor, to pay for the cover design, to pay for formatting, to pay for advertising, to pay for, you know, proofs. There's just a lot that goes into it. So make sure you go back and watch the five systems that I have in place, that video, because I think it will help you even more. Well, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys again in a brand new video next time. Until then, stay safe.